All Joomla websites are displayed using a series of files that make up a template. There are hundreds of off-the-shelf templates available, or if you are a designer, you can adapt your design into a Joomla template. This lesson introduces you to the concept of templates and demonstrates how to install them into your site. One of the great things about Joomla is the wide range of templates that are available. If you are a designer, you can create your own templates too, or find someone experienced to build a template from your design. The process of creating a template is complex, so I'll not teach this as part of this series. However, let's take a general look at templates and how to find and install new templates. Log into Administrator and go to Extensions, Template Manager. You'll see that there are six templates installed, four site templates and two administrator templates. The templates being used are marked with a star. To change the template, simply click the button on the left of the template name and click the Make Default star in the top right. The default star moves to the newly selected template. Now when you look at the front end of the site, you'll see that it has a completely different look. Choose the next one and click Default and once again the site design has changed. You are not limited to these three. There are thousands of Joomla templates available and you can commission a Joomla expert to create a unique template for you. Google Joomla templates or look at the templates category at the Joomla resources directory, which is demonstrated in the last of these lessons. When you find a suitable template, have a read of the installation instructions, usually provided by the template developer, as everyone has a different way of doing things. In some cases, you need to download a compressed file from the developer and install this file onto your site. In other cases, you download a file, extract the contents onto your local computer, and install one of the extracted files. Let's go through the process with this template. The download link is at the bottom of the page. So I'll click that and save it to my local computer. This particular template just needs to be installed directly as is. So the next step is to log into Administrator. Then go to Extensions, Extension Manager. Click the Choose File button and navigate to the location of the template zip file you downloaded. Select it and click the Upload and Install button. Depending on the size of your template and your internet connection speed, this could take some time. Once it's been uploaded, you need to make it the new default template. Go to Extensions, Template Manager, click the checkbox here, and then click the Make Default button. Go to your front end to see the results. It may not look exactly the same as the demonstration that you saw from the template developer and this is where you need to refer to the instructions that come with the template to see what changes you need to make to your configuration to produce the best result. Joomla template developers have the ability to include parameters that allow you to change the look and certain functionality of the template. Let's go back to Administrator and switch the default template back to the one that comes with the standard installation of Joomla. Now click on the template title here. Note that there are some options here in the right column. These options vary from one template to another or they might not exist at all. These settings are purely up to the template developer's discretion. Let's have a look at some options available in the template. If you want to change the logo, you can do so here by clicking the Select button and choosing a file from the site 
or uploading a new image. Alternatively, you can click the Clear button to remove the logo. If you do that, some text will be displayed instead as specified by the content in the Site Title box. There is an optional second line of text too. Let's save these changes and look at the front end. You can see that the logo has been replaced by the two lines of text. This template also allows the position of the navigation to be changed from the left column to the right. And the design can be changed too. I will save and close now and show you these changes on the front end. In an earlier lesson, I explained that templates include code that tells Joomla where to position the modules. A good template developer will provide a map that displays the positions available in the template, like the one used in this example. It's helpful to have this on hand when you create a module so you know where to position it. But if no template map is supplied, you will need to either open an existing module and look at its position, or try this trick. From Template Manager, click the Options button in the top right. In the pop-up window, change Preview Module Positions to Enabled. Click Save and Close and go to the front end of your website. Then add the following to the URL of your home page. forward slash index dot php question mark tp equals one. This displays light coloured boxes on top of the page contents. They're sometimes a bit hard to read, but the template position names are superimposed on the content. For example, the articles menu module that was created in the earlier lesson is in position seven. So are the sample menus and the login form. At the bottom of the column is another position called position 5. At the bottom of positions 9, 10 and 11. There are various other positions too. And that's all there is to installing and configuring a template. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to get the most out of Joomla by using extensions. One of the most exciting add-ons that has been created for Joomla is called EasyBlog. This software turns your Joomla site from a static, one-way communication tool into an interactive blog that includes features usually only found in dedicated blogging tools. Readers can comment on your articles, send them using social networking sites, and filter by category or tag. Regardless of whether you have a business site, a not-for-profit site, or a personal site, you need a blog. Writing regular blog posts can also help your search engine rankings, so this is a must-have tool. Our Joomla Pro course includes tutorials on how to use the Easy Blog software, so make sure you don't miss it. Click the link or button on this page to visit our site for more information. Yeah. <sighs>